Well, Mother Nature's played a trick on us. Look at that. Bricks. Our little honey hole is going to be in jeopardy of not being the same. I don't know what it's blowing. I'll look in the paper in a minute. I'm, but it's, uh, I just went out and picked the papers up. It's about, uh, it's either in the high 40s or low 50s. In the breeze. Not very good for Surf Church Sunday. But a good day for sword restoration to blow, the, blow everything away while I'm working. That compound polishing, that buffing compound is rusted up. Well, there it is. High is going to be 68, but right now it says the low is 54, so that's about what it is. And it's blowing uh, northeast 7 to 14. Well, it's blowing every bit of 14 with no problem. Northeast, not good. Tomorrow it's going to be south, northeast again, 6 to 12. The same kind of temperatures. Let's go down here and see what the tie says. At Lynn Haven, it's going to be at 4:40, no, 4:35 today. Where we were yesterday, 4:35. So maybe the weather get a little better by then for our little honey hole. He's cooking for him. You starving? Hmm? No, you poor baby. You little fur cat. You ain't got to eat no birds today and no squirrels. You just want to eat, don't you? <laughs> Sometimes I get two or three a day from this guy right here. And once you subscribe, you can't do it again. Right there, I've subscribed. I did that a week ago, or longer. I've done it three or four times, but I'm, he always sends me those requests. I'm at a loss what to do. Big ol' Jack. Well, I just left the Mumbles man's house. I went over there, took my Equinox over there, and <clears throat> took his charger and my charger, my plug and his plug, and my plug will charge his Equinox okay. So, and his charger won't charge mine just like mine will. It comes on and goes right off, what, what I do. So I think the battery must be bad inside of it. I read some stuff on the forums that if one of the cells goes bad or something, it won't recognize it. So it's just got, I charged it lot, uh, yesterday when I got home, you saw that. and charged all, all night long, but it didn't get past one bar because it wasn't making good contact. So I cleaned everything off, both the ones on the plug itself and the ones on the back of the Equinox, still nothing. That's the reason I took it over to Mumbles Man, see if it was my stuff on my end. But it's not, it's the Knox itself. So in my truck, I have a Equinox 800 that I borrowed from the Mumbles Man. He's been uh, CTX in the last four or five spins. And I presume he'll stay CTX with his fine results. So I have his 800. I guess I'll send mine off tomorrow. I'll get a, what they call the RMA number or something from mine laughing. Get her in the mail. Well, it's about time to go if we're going to go. I mean, I think the Mumbles Man is not going, but I got his uh, 800 all set up. It's a long rod. He's got the rod pushed all the way out just about for a tall guy like he is. But I can't move because he's 
it never changed in this original aluminum one so it's frozen in place I got the headphones on and checked her out everything works okay but it's really breezy I see a bunch of wind surfers going by we'll see how the slough looks stand by well there's one kite surfer right there you see him he could be right down in the middle of the slough but I see him he's offshore there I was low in about an hour and a half, so I got plenty of time. I just got a feeling I hope it ain't rough enough to be crashing into the slough. No, it looks bad. It looks terrible. Good gracious. I was afraid of that. There he goes. You see him? He's cooking too, boy. Down that way a ways. It's cold though. I mean, it's chilly today. Look at these ladies. They're all wrapped up like dead of winter down. Just like me. Hooded sweatshirt on, everything. But if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. Remember that. We'll have to see how it goes. It looks much better to the east by the oak tree. Well, I cut the front yard and the backyard. I guess we'll have to make a spin. I'm going to put my boots on. Bring it off. Well, rocket scientist as I am, I left my uh, GoPro harness at, at the house. So I left the GoPro in the truck. I'm using my Kodak now. So there won't be many uh, live dig shots. It'll just be afterwards. Like I said, it looks better up this way. I don't know whether we'll find anything or not. Kite surfer coming to us with them boogie board surfers, I call it. There's a nice low spot right over there. I'm going there first. Oh, maybe I'm not. I lied. I'm going this way. Dug two pull tabs and a piece of aluminum so far. But it looks pretty interesting right here. Stand by. I dug a gray matter and another pull tab, a couple of teeny swivels, fishing swivels, brass swivels, you know. And then I got a, like a homemade sinker. Got some string on it and a piece of lid is rolled up. So there's a few things around. I got some competition. Young lads just came on. One's digging and one's scooping. I mean, uh, swinging. Looks like an 800 or a 600 knocks, it looks like, but I can't say for sure that it is. It's just too far away. Maybe I'll run up with them and find out. Well, this little spot right here I just got in, it looks pretty good. Got some rocks in there. Well, 
I only worked about an hour. I wasn't finding much. My legs were getting tired. I figured I'd uh, head on back. Something happened to our cable box. I guess Thursday. No, wait a minute, today Friday. We had a little storm, you know, and I think lightning knocked out the cable box. So Chris just couldn't stand it any longer. She finally reached out to one of the Verizon stores, found one open. She called the guy and said, well, I'll give you this ticket. You print it off and bring it with you. We'll give you a new cable box. So we both left at the same time. Maybe we'll have TV and the six o'clock race. See if Mumbles man's number 18 knocks my man out of the race again this week. I had to race almost one until the 18 car gave him a little nudge. I got Chase, Amarillo, and D. Bettadino. I don't know who the Mummels man's got besides 18. That's only, he picks, we pick three each. But he's always got 18. We'll see. I don't think I ever showed you this little log house. It's been here long before me. It was here when I was a kid. Well, I got to race on my uh, computer. Since I don't have any TV, the box, the new cable box didn't work. So it must be something to do with the lines outside on the house. They're gonna come Tuesday and get it all straightened out. Rain delay. Well, I don't have a best of it today. Or maybe them two gray matters might be the best of it. Or that tiquita. Well, he's there for an hour though, so it ain't too bad. I did a little digging, got some exercise. I'll check with you tomorrow. Oh, we might have some fancy pork chops for supper too. We'll see. Cabbage, onions, pork chops. Oh, I got pork chops hot in there. That's a good thing. Big Jack, what are you looking for over there? <laughs> 